This story is brought to you by the Metropolitan Wilmington Urban League. Empowering communities. Take action. Make a difference. Earl Cooper is a brother, a son, an uncle, a grandson. I'm so many different things. Um, but if I had to just boil it down, I am simply a young African-American male that loves golf. And I want everyone to know that. And I want to also share that with people as well. And I feel as if that I am no better than anyone else. And if I can do it, you can do it too. So I'm just here to inspire people and lead by example. Being around the game 20 years, uh, I've seen a lot. I've seen, I came up in the Tiger Woods era and now kind of being on the downward turn of the Tiger Woods era and also having the access that I have when it comes to the PGA and looking at certain numbers and seeing the trends and working with it firsthand, um, I feel that now is a critical time. The golf industry was shrinking uh, with the big housing boom. We saw that we kind of had a downward turn for the first time ever. The game wasn't growing. Tennis was outgrowing us and multiple other sports were outgrowing us. And I think that had a lot to do with the fact that the game, we never had to go reach people. So I feel like we're at that turning point where now, in order for us to grow and in order for us to be successful, because again, as you alluded to, I'm very young. I'm only 26 years old. So I said, where is my future in this game? And how can I sustain that long term? Not only for myself, but for my colleagues and for the next generation, because I want other people to take advantage of this opportunity as well. But we have to make sure that this opportunity will exist. And how we're going to do that is by branching out, reaching new markets that we haven't reached before. Let's just be honest with ourselves. Traditionally, golf has been known as a older, white, predominantly male sport. And I feel like that shouldn't be the way no longer. And it's not going to be the way if we want to grow. So the new wave, I feel, is to reach young, uh, not even kids, not even limited just to kids, but also young professionals and older professionals who have the time and to strip away these stereotypes where they say it costs too much money and say we don't have enough time. And I think a lot of times there is an itch there because it's the unknown and people are very intrigued. But what I want to do is I want to open that up. I want to welcome them there. And then when they get here, I'm going to give them the information and give them the tools. And I don't no longer want it to be where people have this idea of what golf is let's go really find out what it is you define golf don't let other people define golf for you the way we're going to do it is continue doing the things that i'm already doing one leading by example getting out in the community Think big because dreams do come true because dreams do come true and if anybody asks you why and if anybody asks you why you tell them what you remember B -I -G. B -I -G. what that stand for because i'm great all right. Uh, All you know, right. there's so many things that I'm doing right now to, you know, I'm teaching kids, I'm teaching young professionals, I'm out there, I'm a part of different organizations, and what I'm doing is also I am showing them a different side of the game. So I think that's very important because when I go there, they may, they don't really naturally assume that I'm an adult, that I'm a pro professional, a PGA professional. So, yes, I'm in this attire today. But you may see me in blue jeans and a t-shirt, and I'm going to still share the same information with you. So again, I'm going into different areas where golf isn't predominantly talked about, and I'm sharing it with them, and that's how we're going to do it.